All right, we have to cover a lot of stuff in this video. It's gonna be a lot of related concepts, but we, we kind of have to tackle them all at once. So this is gonna be a bit of a longer video, and you're really gonna to wanna to make sure you understand what we talk about in this video before moving on. So let's get right to it. We're gonna start by talking about the major scale. And the easiest way to start talking about the major scale is to look at a C, find a C on your piano. You can actually do this with me. Find a C, so that's a white note that's just to the left of a group of two black notes. And you're gonna go up all white notes until you get to the next C, so like this. I'll hold them down. So you can see all of the notes, all these white notes, and it sounds, if I were to play it more in order, it would sound like this. And you know, you can play up or down, you can go two octaves. You can, go, you can go, you know, basically what it's talking about is this collection of unique pitches. So really these seven unique pitches are, are what we're talking about here. And once you sort of know that the, that the white notes from C to C follow that pattern, you can use that to create a pattern or, or sort of you can, you can backwards engineer, I guess, the major scale for any key. So first let's talk about what's going on. If you were to play that C again and slide your finger all the way to the back of the piano, you would notice that to get to the next white note, you'd have to go through this note here. And this note here is what's called a half step. A half step is the, sh the smallest distance between two notes. So this is a, a half step higher than C would be, you could say C sharp, if you will. And a half step higher than that is D. So in order to go from C to D, the first two pitches in our major scale, we had to go over a half step and then and then we could get there. So we went a total of one whole step. I hope you see that. So from C to C sharp would be a half step and from C to D would be a whole step because we make two half step jumps and two halves equals one whole. So the order of half steps or whole steps that you play to, to get a major scale is like this. So we're gonna start with your root, your root note, which in this case is C, root. You're gonna go a whole step you're gonna go another whole step. See, we go two halves, and that's on E. Then we go a half step, because you see from E to F, it's just one little jump. Half step, then we've got a whole step, because two little jumps, whole to G, whole to A, whole to B, and then another half step to finish off at C. So the sequence, once again, is root, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. And that's a pattern that you can use to find any major scale. So let's talk about the, the, the F major scale because the, the performance piece that we do at the end of each unit growing is in the key of F. And you may not, I mean, you may not have even realized that it doesn't really, it's not super important, but it, it will help you. So if we start on F and we, we use the same pattern where we go root, whole, whole, Half is right here. See the shortest distance is to here. Half, then we go whole again. So let me hold down these notes. Whole, whole again, whole, whole again. And then we finish on half. So interestingly, we have a very similar pattern. We have all these white notes, except the, the what, we, what would normally be a B, I guess you might say, is now a B flat. So the collection of pitches that we normally use in growing are are these pitches, and it, you could you know you don't have to think about them in be, being in a certain order. You might see them, you know, like this. You you might see them in a, in a different place, but the the pitches that we're going to mostly be using are F, G, A, B flat, C, D, and E play the F if you want to finish it out there. So you'll notice at the beginning of your sheet music, there's this little lowercase b. And that is, you'll notice that's on the second line from the bottom. And the second line from the bottom would normally tell you to play a b. If there was no lowercase b sign, which is basically a flat sign or flat symbol, that would, you would just play, actually you'd play this b. You'd play just a normal, regular, natural b. But because there's that symbol there, it's telling you to play it flat. So to play it flat, you play it a little bit to the left, the smallest distance, a half step lower in pitch or to the left of the keyboard. So if normally you would play a B, and you would actually play this one, but we'll do the higher one just so it's in the middle of the keyboard, where you would normally play a B, 
You can slide your finger if you want to the, you know, beyond where the beginning of this black note starts. And if you go a little to the left, that's your B flat. And what that is telling you when it's at the beginning of the music is that all of the Bs, all of the notes that you might normally play as B, you're gonna play as B flat. Kind of like, hey, replace all of your Bs with B flats. So as you're going through, your, your eye is looking at music and it sees, you know, it sees what might be a B, but you really gotta remember that it's a B flat. So instead of playing this white note, you're gonna play this. And that's an important thing to keep an eye, your eye peeled for. Because you're gonna you're gonna forget about it. You have to kind of remember, and that's why I started in a more difficult key. I want you to be paying attention to this right from the beginning. We'll go. We'll do easier an easier key later when you're dealing with other difficult concepts. But while your concepts are generally speaking easier, I know this stuff is never easy. You want to be. I want you to be focusing on playing this flat. Okay, now the other thing we need to talk about is scale degrees. So instead of saying root, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, or in the key of F, root, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, I want you to think about these in terms of numbers. Or in fact, maybe I want you to think about them both in terms of roots and holes and halves and numbers. So once you sort of have these pitches in your hand or memorized or whatever, I want you to assign a number to them, and you're gonna you're gonna assign the number one to what to your root to whatever note you start on, and you're just gonna go two and straight up three. This B flat is your four, five, six, seven, and eight. You can call that eight. Now you you know just so you know just so you're aware you could keep going nine, ten. 11 and so on, but that's just sort of like a hint for future stuff. But for now, one through eight is fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, I want you to be paying attention to those scale degrees. Um, and so in the next uh, exercise, I'm gonna, instead of just playing your exercise, I want you to say the scale degrees that you're playing. So go really slow. And I'm gonna give you a couple of hints early on to, to orient you to the process. And then I'm gonna drop the hints out and you're going to need to, to while you're playing the, the exercise, to say the scale degrees. So you don't need to count out loud if you don't want to. You can just to like learn the part, but eventually I want you to be able to, for instance, it might look something like this. One, two, three, two, three, four, five. Five, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one. You know, something like that. And more important in this exercise is saying the number as you go. Instead, I don't really care about the rhythm as much, all right? So say the number as you go up to eight. 